Hello everyone. Welcome back to my another video. You all are welcome to my new and amazing video. This video is all about the IES means Indian Academy of Sciences SRFP program that is Summer Research Fellowship program or you can also say FASTSF Focus Area Science Technology Fellowship. If you don't know about this fellowship, kindly watch my previous two video regarding it so that you can better appreciate how prestigious and how important these fellowships are, especially for research aspirants. If you are really interested in research work, then this is the ideal fellowship which you should apply for your improvement. So in this video, without wasting your time, I will share how to effectively write the write-up, which is a very important component in this fellowship. So I will also share my own write-up, which I have written during my time. Uh, I have been selected for FASTSF program. My write-up is not so great, but I will tell what component you need to include in your write-up so your application can be differentiated from others. Apart from this, I will also share uh, what you have to do after your selection, means what formalities you have to uh, go through after your selection. So I will also share uh, at the end of the video. So kindly, uh, so kindly pause the video till the end. So let us start this video. So let us see this fellowship. I am sending my uh, own application for FASTSF Focus Area Science Technology Fellowship, which I have applied during my time in 2021. During 2021, I was in third year and I have also applied uh, during my second year, but at that time, I do not have sufficient guidance and do not have sufficient experience and do not know how to write the write-up. So I have not selected, I had not been selected during that time. And then in third year, I also, I applied for both SRFP and FASTSF, but I have been selected for FASTSF because my college comes under the FASTSF uh, criteria, so I got selected under this. But let me tell you, both are same, all are same thing, but the name is different, uh, but all, all things are quite same. So let me start uh, this video. So, uh, uh, apart from write-up, you need to include your training or projects which you have undertaken so that your application can be differentiated from others. So like that, I have written about some of my projects because during that time, uh, the lockdown was going on and uh, all, all, all students are doing online courses. So like that, I have also, uh, I, have, I had also done some online courses. So to, uh, to differentiate my application from others, I had written about some courses which is relevant to my area of research. So you can see uh, introduction to programming with MATLAB, to machine learning, introduction to IoT and embedded system, data signal and processing. So like that you can also write about some projects and training which you have undertaken and which you have experienced uh, and it should be related to your area of research so that your application get boosted. Apart from that, uh, you can write about the extracurricular activities which can display your research aptitude means how you are how really you are interested in research so uh, you can include some uh, extracurricular activities like that i have received the best student award for 100 percent attendance this was uh, dedication but uh, then i have written about some uh, blood donation event like that you can also uh, write in new york case it could be different but you should write something in there. Uh, kindly do not keep it blank. Apart from that, you can also write some uh, information why you are really interested in this program. You can write in this any other information. So I have written the research, what the meaning of research in my perspective. So if you are really clear about research work, you should explain what is the meaning of research in your perspective. So it will really give a boost to your application. So like that I have written research is to see what everybody else has seen and to think what nobody else has thought. Doing a research work is my dream. Researching a known concept to derive an innovative result out of it fascinates me. 
So I want to pursue directly the MTech MS later on. But unfortunately, I have not got a perfect opportunity in that. So like that, you can also write something. Kindly do not keep it blank. I have written according to my situation, but you should write according to your situation and kindly write it. Apart from that, kindly suggest the dates. Kindly uh, choose the dates according to the summer vacation, May to June, June to July. And let, let us now focus on the write-up. It is quite clear that it should be up to 150 to 250 words. You can write up to 250 words. And what should be, uh, what is the main component of the write-up? It should include specific area of interest. Means you should elaborate what is your area of interest. Then uh, what you would like to learn and achieve through this fellowship. Means how this fellowship can prove helpful to achieve your goal. If you are really interested in signal processing, so how can this fellowship can prove helpful to pursue a dream for signal processing? So you should explain in the write-up how this fellowship is really helpful so that uh, you can get this fellowship. Apart from that, it uh, should also include the specific experiment or theory that applicant want to work but not a general description of the area. Means if, if you have some idea, means uh, if you are really interested in doing that project, kindly write about it. Because if you if you write about a project, it means that you have understood some uh, concept regarding it. So you, which means you are really interested in that area. So it, it clearly differentiates your application from others. So let us see what I have written. I am again repeating that my area, uh, my write-up is not perfect. Then it can have many grammatical mistakes. Even uh, when I read it again, I found a lot of mistake in it. So uh, I will suggest you all kindly do not copy this uh, write-up. Take some insight from this and write your own write-up. So this is the main uh, main purpose of making of this video. It is not uh, it is not for you to uh, copy this uh, copy this writer and then write in your uh, application. You should write your own writer. So let us see. You should first define what is your uh, area of interest. Like that, I have uh, defined my specific of area of interest lies in the field of the single processing and machine learning. So uh, you should clear about your area of research in which area you are really interested. It could it can be a broad area. Apart from that, you should explain what is the main uh, what is the main meaning of that area of research? Means how? Uh, what is your understanding about that area? So, like that, I have written signal has an existence in every sphere of life, which makes it quite interesting. I want to explore signal in much more depth using the latest concept of the machine learning. So, after that, explaining your research area of research, then you should explain why this fellowship program is a perfect opportunity for you. How can this fellowship program can prove helpful? Like that I have this fellowship program is a perfect opportunity for me to get a deeper insight of signal processing and to understand the application of ML, AI and IoT in the fast field of the signal process. So uh, this is not, uh, means I have not written something great. This, it is quite a simple write-up. But you should understand what components you need to include in the write-up so that your write-up uh, uh, can differentiate your application from others. So, so to achieve your uh, area of research, to gain more insight about your research, what you have done so far. So, after that, you should explain what you have done so far to explore more about your area of research. Like that, I have written, I have a good knowledge of simulation software, like MATLAB, good understanding concept of MLAI and OIT. I have tried to interact with signal multiple times on my level using simulation software and some lab experiment, but this interaction does not seem sufficient to me. So you can explain your real life perspective in your own words. I need a real life exposure to appreciate the concept of signal processing. This fellowship program is sufficient enough to provide me some exposure. I want to work in a research project which can provide me the real life exposure of signal processing. After that, explaining how can this fellowship can prove helpful for you, uh, what have you done so far to explore more about your area of research, and 
what is the meaning of uh, research and what is the meaning of the area of research in your perspective. So, first you have to include what is the area of research, what is the perspective of that area of research in your view, then what you have done so far to explore more about the research work, uh, area of research means uh, you have uh, read, uh, you have uh, go, you have gone through uh, several research paper, uh, you have uh, tried to interact with this, uh, softwares, means you have to write like something like that. Apart from that, uh, how this fellowship can prove helpful for you. At the end, you should explain one such experiment or one such real life uh, application in which this this area of research can be applied and in which you are really interested to work. So it will it will show how passionate and how curious you are about for this fellowship. One such experiment in which I would like to work is designing a communication system in which threshold value for noise is determined using predictive analysis technique of MLNA. So you then you need to explain more about this uh, problem statement. We use several methods like MAPM and P2P distance hold value, noise is a random signal, under the mistake. No, something like that. So after that I have written that this fellowship program is very beneficial to me for pursuing direct PhD, MTech, MS later on. So like that. I want to emphasize that I have not written something uh, uh, a very great write-up. This write-up is very normal, not great. But if you include all the components which I have suggested you, then it will uh, then your chances of selection will probably get increased. So this is all about the write-up. After the write-up, let us see what you have to do after your selection. When what documents you have to submit. So I will also cover this aspect in this video also. So let us see. Welcome back. So after your selection, you will get a post, uh, a letter by Indian Post to your address which you have given during the time of application. So I will suggest you kindly give a correct address. So you will receive a Indian Post, uh, a mail through Indian Post or you will also receive an email. So this is, uh, it is written the Focus Area Science Technology Summer Fellowship like that in that it will uh, in that uh, it will mention about your guide who is your guide in my case it is the dr gb visar master of iit hyderabad so it in this you will find some rules and guidelines you can uh, also read about that so as you can see the duration of fellowship is eight weeks that is 56 days However, due to COVID-19 pandemic, this year it has been decided to allow summer fellows to work for at least six weeks. In my case, it is completely online. So, in my case, it is of at least six weeks. And what about the fellowship? You will get 12,500 per month, means 25,000 for two months for your boarding, lodging and local transports like that. But if you are doing it online you will get only two, uh, 1250 means 2500 for two months you will also get uh, travel fare for your expenses after that uh, apart from that you will also need to submit the report in a physical copy as well as in a soft copy it is mentioned that after the receipt of the final report we shall receive, release the remaining amount And this is some instruction for summer research fellowship. So first you need to accept the fellowship. Uh, when your names come in the website, then after some time you will get uh, this mail by Indian Post. Then after you need to uh, send your expect acceptance of fellowship. You need to submit the progress report for four uh, for four week report and eight week report. Uh, through author cafe or uh, through some other means so this is the form of exp uh, exp expectance and then this is the joining report when you join uh, for this fellowship you need to submit this joining report so this is all about this fellowship and you will get, you get a lot of information about this fellowship in all my three videos. So if you are 
uh, planning to apply for this video, uh, for this fellowship, kindly watch all three videos. You will get uh, a lot of insight from that videos, and I will I wish you all the best so that you will get an opportunity to explore more about this fellowship, and you will get opportunity to work in your area of research in the best institutes. So all the best from my side. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. I will meet you soon in the next video. And if you have not subscribed my channel yet, kindly subscribe. It will really motivate me to move, uh, to to make more such videos. So thank you and have a nice day.